everyone and welcome back to another new video with K Everything. I am AKA Mama Pain and I hope everyone is having a good, good day. In today's video, I am doing another prep trip. Um, and I need to go out and see what is on sale, what is going on in the grocery stores and not to mention I am in need of mason jars so with that being said with the last video I did um, I'm not sure if I'm not even sure what I have I have been doing so much that um, I'm losing track of day and time I've just been that busy so anyways, the last video was of my birthday. I had a birthday and it was a nicer birthday and uh, really enjoyed it with friends and my boys. Um, and But the video before that one, um, I was showing you guys the prepping. Um, there was one of me prepping and the, the prep uh, food saver that I bought and everything that food saver I wound up taking that back and getting uh, something different because actually uh, that was not the one that I really wanted but I went along with it and I wasn't satisfied even though it was like my beginners uh, food saver machine um, I was not satisfied with that but however I got one a little more uh expensive i think it was one i think it was one um i'm gonna say it was 139 or 149 something like that um but it had you know a place where you can put the roll bags and and you can cut right across and i will show you guys that uh here in a bit but first i'm running down to town I'm going into Leland and that's Leland North Carolina for those that don't know what town that is and most of you that watch my videos probably do um, I'm going to go do some runs and see what I can find I may make it to one store I might make it to two or three stores depending on how I feel but anyways I'm going to get going and I want to bring you guys with me so let's go um, at the tractor supply company I want to run in here and see what they have all right I'm not sure if I can film inside but if I can't then I'll just show you what I get if I get anything all right guys <clears throat> this is a boot that I've been wanting forever this rain boot I have hunted this boot down last year for so long and they never had my size okay well today guess what I found it is my lucky day it's a size 8 I can never get it in a size 8 <clears throat> no that's not part of the prep but that is important to me because I do mess around outside a lot and I need these boots so good deal so I went down to the farmers market and now I went to pay my car insurance and now I'm at Aldi's food market so I want to see what they have in here if we can find any good sales bargains or what have you but yep this will be store number two okay guys I'm in the store it's nice and cold I'm looking at the produce seeing what they have I do see some grapes, green grapes for 95 cents a pound, which I think that's a good bargain. We got um, baby peeled carrots for 79 cents. Gonna get a bag of that. I'll be shopping, and if I see any more good deals, I will for sure let you guys know. So I found some honey wheat loaf of bread, 98 cents a loaf, 
which is a good deal. But we got a lot of loud people behind me. Very rude to be that loud in the store. I guess they were raised on a farm in the old manor. Okay, well, let's continue. And another good deal. Hamburger buns, 99 cents. Good deal. They look very, very good. I'm gonna show you guys something. All this stuff here looks like a good deal, so I have to check this out. I've not been in this store in a while, so I'm gonna check that and everything else out and see what else they have. But I need to get away from the loud mouths because they are very loud and they're so annoying. And I'm sorry, but when you're that loud that the whole store can hear you, you must not get out much. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, you got a lot of good deals all the way through here. Not bad in price. You might want to come out to the stores. I'm sure you have one near you. I think you get a better deal than some other stores. But I'm gonna jump off here and then I will see you probably at Walmart, the next stop or Dollar Tree. Guys, okay, so I am back. Um, but it's not the same day. Um, didn't make it to Walmart. I didn't make it to any other stores. I had to go ahead and stop what I was doing, get my stuff in the car, and come straight home. Because my sugar was pretty low. And I was feeling annoyed I was getting a migraine and I was getting very lightheaded so I knew I had to get home and I probably am um, wondering why I was getting annoyed in the grocery store loud sounds get to me I do suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder but it's called complex which is CPTSD and, um, you know, so if, if I sound a little annoyed on some of my videos, I apologize. It's not trying to be rude or ugly. It's just when it happens, it happens. And I, I just, I don't know how to, you know, hold back from saying something. But I won't say it out loud. I'll say it to myself. And, of course, you got a little taste of that on my video. I do apologize for that. Um, it wasn't anything ugly towards them. It was just sometimes, you know, you do have to have manners and watch how loud you are and things that you say. And I have a bad habit of just saying, but not like super loud. It's just how I feel when I'm walking around the stores and I get annoyed. But anyways, let's just move on. <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> so then I get home and I did get some good deals I got good deals um, on some canned goods um, and some breads and I I think I did pretty good at Aldi's um, I think it was like 32 to 34 dollars and I was pleased and I've not been in there in a while so I think I'm going to start checking them out again um, it was pretty pretty decent okay so then I wanted to share some uh, prep tips okay um, I did say that I took back my first food saver and that was on um, another video before the birthday video I believe it was I can't keep up with the videos guys but um I did buy another one and this is the one I got and this one I like a whole lot better because the other one was just, um, it, it didn't have the, the place where you could put your uh, bags. And as you can see, this one has the cutter. So when you open this, you have your roll of bags. And then once you pull out, you, you can cut it and measure it. Not to mention, and I did not mention this, this one has the um where uh the the i call it jar sucker <laughs> but this this is what i wanted and i didn't realize that it came with that so i bought or ordered online one 
that I could do by hand. Okay, so this right here makes a, a world of difference to have with your food saver. And this one here, I believe, was one twenty nine or one thirty nine, and I'm pretty pleased with this one. And I did get this one at Walmart. So, um, let's go into the kitchen and let me show you. Warning: I have a mess on my counter. Okay, I got excited this morning, <laughs> and I got stuff everywhere, but. I get serious when it comes to food prepping and no you don't have to be a professional to be a food prepper at all I am going into my eighth month of prepping foods and I learn something new every time as I go along okay and um, I went and bought groceries I went and got you know stuff to prep so yeah like I said I have a before I showed you my food saver I have my working pantry, you know, and when I find good deals, I will buy two of each, which I do. I did find good uh, deals on cereals, and of course, we're into the protein thing, and guys, one dollar, one dollar, so, yeah, my son was happy, um, and this, like I said, this is my working pantry, and, um, and this is my store food pantry as you guys can see I'm starting to put things in it and doing really good with things um I've got I've got the oatmeal the grits and I need to fill this one all the way to the brim um and yeah I got oatmeal grits uh pastas and you know my seasonings my canned goods and my tunas and things like that spam which I never thought I would have to eat spam but hey it will work <laughs> but yes this is my store food prep okay and it like I said you don't do this overnight you don't go out here and spend thousands of dollars you just don't do that what you do is you go out and say you're out grocery shopping or you're just shopping for certain items um grab a few of this grab a few of that if it's affordable just grab a little bit of this and a little bit of that you take it and you store it but always make sure to put the date on it okay guys so here is the food saver okay and like i said it has this bar right here to cut your bag and there's the roll okay and I like that I like that a lot and this right here is for my mason jars okay and I love that because I do bags and mason jars okay and um and I also do absorbers okay so I have a tip for you guys or a couple of tips for you guys. Alright. I'm doing the pastas and the rice and the beans today. But I'm just going to show you some quick tips on pasta. Um, and probably some potatoes, okay? Alright, so right here, I have put macaroni and cheese. I've got seven boxes in here, which is just... Per box is a cup, okay, or eight ounces. The box says 7.25 ounces, but I always just do eight ounces because it's not very much from that. So what I've done is I've put seven boxes of mac and cheese in here because I always add a little extra pasta onto the noodles or the, the mac and cheese because, you know, you have the ones that want a little extra that's not going to hurt anything to put an extra box and then when you do the one cup just say a little over a cup okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal this and this right here will last you up to I say some people some professional preppers say that this will last 25 years I'm just going to go with it 
15, 10 or 15 years. I don't know. But 25 years is great. And then what I'm going to do, some preppers will put the cheese packets in with this. But I'm going to do something different. I am going to take these and put them in a separate jar. And there will be six of them in here instead of seven. And always make sure that you punch your little hole here, a little hole here. And then before you put it in the jar, you make sure you take out all the excess air that's into these packets. Then you put them inside the jar, and which I will show you here in a second, and show you how this works. It's amazing. And I'm going to seal it, okay? I'm going to seal it. Okay. Then, um, and just put the date. I got six boxes of mac and cheese, one cup per serving, and I put seven July seventh, um, and July eighth. Okay. No, no, no. Excuse me. Mixed up. I did I, some of them from from July, and some of them are from the beginning of August. Okay. So that's not going to hurt anything, especially once you seal it. Okay. And and so I did put a uh, saying on there. Oh, with that being said, I'll do that just in a second. And then I put three pounds of spaghetti in a another jar. Okay, three pounds. And what you're going to probably need is a, is a scale, and they cost somewhere nineteen to twenty four to twenty five dollars. Something I need to actually get. Because with these, you're not going to know how many spaghettis to get out. So by weighing up, you know that a pound it comes in each box. So I got three pounds of spaghetti in here. And it's already sealed. And it's good to go. Just giving you guys some tip ideas. Next, I have the, you know somebody drinks soda? Tell them to give you their plastic soda bottles. If you drink soda bottles, keep them. Wash them out real good and let them dry for a few days. I've saved mine, as you can see from the pantry, um, how I stored oatmeal and I'm storing grits. Okay, well, this is what you do. It, it's, um, you can store that in these plastic bottles. I also got the absorbers that I got um, online on Amazon. I got 100 of them, and they're 500 cc's. One will do. Even something lower than that will do, okay? But that's what I ordered, so I went with it, and they're working just fine. But just remember, when you order these and you open them up, you do have to get them in somewhere quickly and seal them, or you're going to lose them. Okay, I'm doing this a little fast, that way I can get a lot into this video. Okay, guys, so... If you're going to do that, make sure you have one of these. And I got this at Walmart for like five or six bucks. And make sure you always have funnels. Okay. Um, and you can do this over time. It doesn't all have to happen at once. And this is something you must have. This is a must have. Okay. This is going to go on top of your jars. Okay. I got this little kit, which is the one I ordered. See, self hand here that you can do the sealing with it comes with that I got this for like 12 something on Amazon okay so let me put the top on the jar and let me show you how that's done all right guys so I'm gonna get the big mouth and stick it right on top of that just like that and and I'm going to go ahead Put this right like that. Make sure it's in there. Um, then you're going to press this down. And you're going to wait for it to come on. Like that. And you see the light. Now you hit dry seal. sealed it okay and I'm gonna wait for the light that went off and I do it twice so I'm gonna do it again and 
and I'll wait for the light to go off. Then you do that. You take that off, and then you pop the top right off. It was that easy. Once you pop the top off, you always do this and make sure it's on there really good, okay? Mine's ready, and you don't hear it popping. One, if you hear that lid, and you mash it down and you hear that lid, that means it's not sealed. And then you just throw it on there tightly, and that's it. Nothing more, okay? Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing for the sauce, the mac and cheese sauce. And again, nice and sealed, and it's good to go. And that is quite enough mac and cheese for just me and my son, but that will go a very long ways. Another way you could do it is by getting a sealer bag and sealing it with however many boxes that will fit in there. You don't want to fill it to the rim. You always have to give it enough room to seal. Okay, but I always say do it this way only because you can go in it and out of it. Like say if I need a cup of mac and cheese right away, I can get in it and do that and close it back up and seal it. Where to, if you do the bags, once you cut it, that's it. And you can possibly store something smaller in the ones that you've already opened. Um, they're very washable and reusable and make sure they're very dry. But I feel that, you know, I think mason jars are the better way to go, containers or what have you. So then I was going to go ahead and show you another way. We have the three cheeses, scalloped potatoes, okay? I'm going to do this the same way I did the mac and cheese. I'm going to put at least three boxes, if I can get three boxes, which I'm pretty sure I can, get three boxes of these in a mason jar, and let's see how that goes. Okay, so this, these boxes are five ounces a box, five ounces, okay, and they're, and you can use these again. You can use these in these and these bag. They already come in a plastic bag. So what you can do is put two holes, little holes, and pierce two little holes in them, and get a sealer bag and put maybe two or three bags and seal them and date them, and that will be good as well. But me, I would. Just go with the mason jars. That's my preference. And I can probably fit two to three bags in here. And like I said, if I need a box, I could just open this up, get it out, and seal it right back up what's left. And that way I don't, you know, lose anything or it goes bad. Alright, so we're going to measure. Just make sure to always do this. That way you can get more in. Every time you do something in a jar, you always do that. Believe me, it gives it more room. And this one is, let's see. Make sure they're in there really good. This one is at two and a half cups. Okay, two and a half cups. Alright guys, so I got exactly three boxes in this jar. Okay, this is not the gallon size either. Um, three boxes of this. And what you do is you cut... The directions and you tape it in the back of the jar just like that and what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put them in a smaller mason jar and set it next to that that way I know where my cheeses are at and just know and write down on there that it serves um, serving size would be two and a half cups and that would be a five ounce bag uh, excuse me, a five ounce box, okay? And that is it. And now I'm about to seal that. And um, I believe that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to do another flavor. And I'm going to do another jar of these. And guys, these are like 98 cents a box. 
and I got these at Walmart. But I'm going to do three boxes of those and put those away. And I'm going to continue on with my day with the rice and the beans. And I probably will do a video on that another time. And as I said, you don't have to be a professional prepper to know what works and what doesn't work. Um, the only thing that you do have to take notes and do your homework on is what to buy to get your prepping going just like I did like I said I've done the seven to eight months going on eight months and I feel I've done a lot I've learned so much and I'm learning more new things as I go along and my next thing is probably canning I don't know how to can yet but I will learn how to do that and I'm excited about it but one step at a time cuz you can get yourself overwhelmed that's why you just do a little at a time but anyways, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I will say I have another channel called Exploring the Afterlife. If you believe in the afterlife, go to that channel and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And I have a Facebook with Taya2 and my Instagram is at Mama Ping. With that being said, thank you for joining me. Until next time, stay positive, live a little. And don't forget to love yourself. Until next time, God bless and thanks for watching.